Alrighty then, hello viewers. I'm back again, I'm finally back. My kidney infection did not kill me, so I have returned. And uh, we won! We won the copyright claim, so uh, the Watch Dogs series gets to continue. I have turned off all in-game songs and turned the music right down to uh, make sure that doesn't happen again. <laughs> but yeah, I've survived, fucking my channel survived, so we're gonna... We're gonna keep going. We're gonna we're gonna get back into it. I don't remember where I left Watch Dogs. I don't remember what I was doing. I don't remember where I was. I don't remember how to play. And with that, let's hop into it. <laughs> Two things are gonna happen. I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get absolutely obliterated, or we're gonna get right back into the swing of it, and it's gonna be like like we didn't left, like we left, like we never left. Either raw. But uh, as for the kidney infection, it. It wasn't life-threatening, but it was really fucking painful. As in, for a good few days, I pretty much just, I didn't leave bed. I basically just laid in bed, took my antibiotics in bed, took my painkillers in bed. The only time I got up was when I had to go to the toilet, and that was fucking crippling. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm still not great now. It still hurts like a bastard, but not enough that the painkillers aren't working. So, there's the silver lining. <laughs> Silver lining is I'm alive and on Monday I can go back to work. So all is good. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, how do I put this away? How do I put this away? Um Um I don't remember how to hide guns. No, no, wrong button, wrong button. Oh okay, we just hot we just press the hot bar wheel, okay. Um, what were we? What were we doing? It's been a good month, if not longer, because I thought I'd lost the um, I thought I'd lost the copyright claim, and with that, I just went, well, if I've lost episode four, I can't really then post five and six because I'll lose them to the same reason. Turns out I didn't lose. Either somebody in YouTube liked me, or they just went, you know what, you're new to this. Let's not crucify him straight away. Let's give him a chance. And if that is what happened, thank you. I do appreciate it, because I fucked up. <laughs> so, one thing we are just going to check. We're going to make sure that um, the car music is turned off. So I would prefer not to have a repeat of, what, of uh, last time. Uh, what car do we want? What car do we want? Let's get the let's get the vest pin. Yeah, let's get that. Right, that looks nice. That looks cool. For you. Thank you. Oh god! Oh, wrong button! Wrong button! I didn't mean to pull that out. <laughs> it's a sprinty button. Oh god! Right trigger is sprint. What an odd game. <laughs> Whee! Oh my, oh my god! As I as I press B on that, I was like, I hope that's not a cliff. I'm up. I'm not like on a bridge. <laughs> I like to think it wouldn't let me do it if I was on a bridge. <laughs> I like to think. So, we're going to do the main story while we figure out what the controls are again. Then we're going to go around to some gang hideouts. You know, just getting to know the game again. Yeah, God. I'm so sad that I have to turn the in-game music off. It is heartbreaking. But, it is always a fair enough. I don't have the rights to that music. So, uh, I can't complain too much. Where am I? Alright, dangerous play, dangerous play. Please don't blow up on me, car! Good. Okay, it's all good. <laughs> Get up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this car. This car is not nice. Okay, I think that's the handbrake for drifts. I think B is handbrake. <laughs> As I say, it's been a good few months since we last did this. So, well, not a few months. It's been about a month. About a month. What's that? Criminal convoy, remote profiling. What? Yes, but does what does that mean? What does it mean?
Good job they're a bunch of fucking dumbasses, isn't it? Alright, let's figure out what we need to do here. What are we looking to be doing here? Wait, civilian killed? Wait, what? How is that a civilian kill? Wait, what? No, I don't. No, I don't. You see nothing. You'll see nothing. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was just a friendly civilian, and I, uh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we're, uh. We're not very good at our job in this game, as it appears. Uh, where did I park my car? Park my car there. Let's, uh. Scurry out of here before the police show up. I fucked up. I know I did. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> God damn it. Because I haven't got music on. All I want to do is like sing my own beat. And I, can't, I can't do it. Oh, I'm not used to all these restrictions when I play. I'm normally a fucker for singing to myself. Putting music on. These are all big no-nos. All big no-nos. Big no-nos that I recently found out are big no-nos. What the? It's always a snitch. Every part of me is like, kill him. And I'm like, but she's in mourning. If I see him again, I'll kill him. I, 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 won't, I, won't, I won't kill him while she's in mourning. I'm not that type of dick. Remember. If I remember right, she's his sister. If I remember you right. Keeps leaving the flowers. No. But that girl has a lot of friends. Had. This is about letting go. I know. We've all suffered a horrible I don't think I could. nightmare, but you have to stop trying to fix it. I'm not trying to fix anything. Aiden, I know what you're doing. I know you're chasing after the people that did this. When you do that, you put us all in danger again. You are not in danger, because I protect you. Do you hear yourself? Aiden, why can't you stop? Because... But it's not it's not your kid that got killed. I need That's to That's really insensitive. You are my brother, and I love you. But Jackson is my world, and I will keep you away in a second before I let him get hurt. Promise me you will stop. You can't save Lena. We can avenge her. I killed her. No, you didn't. I don't blame you. But promise me you will stop. We need this as a family. Easy to say, so she didn't lose her partner and her kid. I promise. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a blatant lie in the face, that is. <laughs> I understand right. it. Lena's dead, I can't change that. How do I just walk away? You don't. I won't deny if I had if I had a kid, and uh, it wouldn't matter what I'd done if you I had a kid a and someone killed. Survivor from the stadium. That guy talks. He'll ID you. Survivor? How did that happen? I'm guessing he didn't die. Now relax. I got a plan. Meet me at Gorman Heights on the rooftop. Yeah, I don't blame him one bit. If I had a kid, 
And uh, it wouldn't matter what I'd done. If you wanted to kill me, fair enough. If I'm the one who did it. Kill me, fair enough. If you want to torture me, fair enough. I did it. But if um, I had a kid and I did something and someone killed my kid, I am the type of person that would dedicate my life to hunting them down. I'd do it for me fucking mother. If I do something and I wrong you and you kill me, fair enough. You know what? I did it, so I should be punished for it. But you go after my family and goddamn, I would hunt you for all my rest of my life. So I fully understand where he's coming from. Because you couldn't just walk away. It's really insensitive for someone to say, just walk away. Because, like, it's not your kid that got murdered. It's not your wife that got murdered. And you can't just... Oh! <laughs> Thank God his car was there. <laughs> I forgot about those. Whoops! Well, there were those. My apologies. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's really insensitive to say, oh, just walk away from your family being murdered and act like it didn't happen. But what? How? It would keep you up at night. It would haunt you your entire life knowing that person is still out there. Welcome to our segment, Power Profiles. Today, we're exploring the life of Dermot Lucky Quinn. Quinn is one of Chicago's most powerful and respected men. His empire stretches across the country and overseas. His personal wealth is estimated at $40 billion. Here at home, he owns buildings, land, hotels, and numerous successful businesses. Stop. Oh, my. Do you, man? Just oh, see. So get so lucky? Yeah. Let's find out. We were dirt poor. There were seven of us. My brothers, sister, and my mom. She brought us here to America from Galway. Imagine that. We were happy, little children, excited for a new life. New food to taste. Things we'd see and do. My sister died. Before we stepped foot on the soil. And so then there were six of us. And, you know, it's a sour taste for me to this day. This is Power Profiles. We're profiling Lucky Quinn. Businessman. Philanthropist. Possible mob boss. For decades, Quinn built his fortune. He made numerous endowments to Chicago to encourage arts and education scholarship funds. Oh, she raised us to work hard. She took in washing. I delivered from shops. That meant my youngest brother was allowed to go to school. It was a very strict upbringing. A nickel was gold and it was, it was treated as such. I learned the value of money very early on. That I did. But hard work wasn't getting them out of the poorhouse. Well, she died, you see. Not much more to say on that. It was left up to me to feed the lads. We're going to pause for a quick break. Oh. I think, I'm pretty sure Quinn was the guy that murdered that guy that we, uh, like, like, we got that mission, didn't we, where we had to drive a guy to, um, like, this meeting point. And I think uh, Quinn was the guy that murdered him and then just kind of looked to us like, did a good job bringing him to me. And we're like, what? We didn't know this was going to happen. <laughs> Do not hit the X button. Do not hit the X button. <laughs> I can't help it. It's too good not to. Ah! <laughs> I was really hoping to send that limo wheel off the edge. No, I'm the, I am that sort of arsehole. Not pizza guy. Shift's over. How, how much did you skim from the shipment? Enough dropping it off now. Oh, someone's naughty, naughty, naughty. Naughty, naughty. Look at those two on a romantic date. Good for them. We're going to go murder some people. <laughs> Where yeah, is this he? first episode... And Jordy can be a pain to work what? with. He's the devil I know. Things were different. I might be hunting him down. Or vice versa. But if he says we got a problem, I need to take it as a massive understatement. Can't let this survivor ID me. Everything's gonna spiral out of control. 
I imagine everything's going to spiral out of control. But yeah, this episode will probably be a bit more, a bit quieter, a bit slower until I get back into the swing of things. Give me that money. That, that cash money. Oh god, I've got a decent amount of money actually, 1200. I mean 12,000. Uh. No. Climb! Climb! Okay, I can't. I don't feel like I can climb that. Can I? Oh my god. Fucking hell, he's got some upper body strength. What a lad! Hi. Oh fuck. Jordy. <laughs> Who are they? Well, they live here. What happened? Well. Security in these buildings is pretty tight. So people like this feel nice and secure living way up here. I mean, these people just had a, a simple chain lock on their door. I guess they want to have a good look at the pizza guy before they open it all the way. All right, fine. Sure. So about this problem. Well, that's why I brought the bolt cutters. He opens the door this much. There's a chain right there. I slip him in and snip, and guess what? It's not the pizza guy. Jordy, the problem. Let's deal with it. We are dealing with it. <coughs> We're in the midst uh, of me? solutions here, Pierce. You don't appreciate what I do for you. You don't realize how much I take care of you, do you? Really? Yeah. Well, do me a favor. Let's get on with it. How much time do we have? Well, as much as we need. Oh, you remember the stiff from the stadium? He's not so stiff anymore. The uh, cops got him in Chicago lockup, and oh, he's about to walk into an interrogation and point a finger. Right at you. How did that happen? Kick me when I'm down. Look at the view. See there? Call went out this morning. Somebody's paying Buku bucks to grab this clown and make him talk. And one of those guys is running the assignment. Well, it seems like me and him need to have a little chat. Yeah, but this time, don't do that empty gun thing. Poor Maurice pissed himself after your last show. Don't worry about my methods. You know how to use that thing? Just get your ass down there, I got you covered. And don't kill the boss this time. You kinda need him. You think? Alright then. Alright, do I see any clever ways of getting in from over here? Hmm. We could. Hook it down there, swim across. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a guy on that dock. Unless he's... Oh, no, I think that guy's actually up there. So, yeah, I think that's Let's what we're going to try and do. We're going to... My balcony hosts are moaning, and that stuff gives me migraines. I get a migraine, Pierce. I am useless to you. You think you're the only one who wants this quick? How should I know what you want? Not big on empathy, are you? Not particularly. What's up with this fixer contract? What are they looking for? You. Please swear... Pl Somebody wants to vigilante big time. They're about to fake a prisoner transfer to bust out the one witness who can ID you. I've never seen them gather up this kind of manpower, though. They know I'll try and stop them. Listen, the witness knows my face. If the fixers reach him, if my name gets out there, they'll come after my family. Ah, the F word. You're too sentimental, Pierce. That's a weakness. Somebody's gonna play that against you someday. I'll cover you where I can, but I can't see anybody. Uh, there's always one All of you, right, that one person that uses my chat for spam. Let's just delete that message. Ban. I apologize, viewers, but I'm not you having someone use my chat to try and scam you guys. This is deleted, and he's been banned from the chat. I apologize for that, but I'm not letting somebody use my fucking chat to try and take advantage of you guys. It ain't happening. Please swim. Oh, he can't swim. Oh. For, for, for a moment there, I thought I'd just jump to my death. Cameras. 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 I didn't see that camera. Someone saw me. Someone saw me. Someone saw me. Someone saw me. Oh, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. As we know, it's not my strong suit. Good. Oh, well, well, okay.
tava louco. Spooky, spooky, so spooky. <laughs> okay, yes, lovely. Bow in there. Good. Out of range here, though. For another camera. I'm wondering if I fucked up coming in the way I did. Maybe there was an actual place. Let's go. Okay. Interrogate the fixer boss. I can't remember. So, uh, it's a little bit more careful. And we all know what I mean by a little bit more. If we all fight it starts, the big gun comes out, bets are off. So we all know I'm a cunt for it. Oh, bastard. Climb. Okay, game. Okay. I see how it be. Now, lift. Now, climb. Oh, he's the reinforcements, lad, is he? I really hope there's an execution system I can do here. Oh, shit. I know that guy. Which one? I always forget his name. Is he a friend? I don't really have friends. Duncan might be a B name. You have no idea who he is. Oh, uh, well, guess not. I'm taking him out. I think I see something. What the <laughs> that is the most dangerous type of person. Hey, I know that guy. Oh, well. <laughs> Douglas. <laughs> That's horrific. What? That's that horrific. was his name, Douglas. Oh, shit. It's too late. You shot him. I couldn't remember his name. That sucks. I don't like that guy. Had a lot of rabbi jokes. Fuck me if I can remember a single one of them. Do you think you could enjoy yourself a little less? Choose a job you love, and you never have to work a day in your life. True saying. Very true saying. Ah, oh, no, I'd be a good assassin. Be a good assassin, except for when I try, except for when I took a selfie off with him. <laughs> The fact that he had to take two shots right there is not reassuring. That means he fucking missed. <laughs> it makes me wonder, how much are we paying this man? How how loyal is he to us? Oh, got him for me. Thank you. I was uh, I was waiting to do some dirty things to that man. Do I <laughs> I would love to tell you, my friend, that you are not the last one left, but uh, you are the last one left. How do I reload? I can't remember how to reload. Oh no, that's never good news. Oh well, I'm pretty sure the gun reloads by automatically once I get to zero anyway. At some point we'll figure out how reloading works. Really? Nope. Ooh, not that one. We want the silencer. Thank you. Left on the left analog stick to reload. What the fuck is with this game and its button controls? Oh. Oh. That's George and Caleb. Where's Douglas? Where's this Douglas guy that was murdered? <laughs> um. Let's follow these wirings. Figure out where these lead. Ah, yes. Lock. Thank you. We probably could have done this stealthy. I get the feeling, had I not killed somebody first, he would just shot anybody unless I got caught. He's all yours. Ba-doing! Hold on. Hold on. Stop. Who's assigned to the prison, Chad? What? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Lance Brenner. As a family. What are you doing? I'm asking you how your family is. 
Looks like you got two lives going at once, family man. Yeah, the kids are gonna be in college soon. It's pricey for a union rep. Fuck you. Yeah, and there's also the second life. Ghost accounts with a lot of money in them. Hey. Do you know that your name is tied to a whole bunch of cold cases? I bet the cops would love a chat. Okay, hold on. You want a piece of the cash? I can cut you in. You're wasting my time. All right, all right! Fuck. Prison job. It's Angelo Tucci. He's running a convoy. It's too late. You'll never find him. You says I want him? Bet he's got a family in town. Why do you want his family? The fuck is wrong with you? I wouldn't know where to begin. Wake up, there's more fixtures incoming. How bad? Remember Kinderhook? Shit. No, I like the idea of that kill all fixers. Hello. <laughs> the moment I found myself in. Fuck. Ooh. I'm in a real bad spot. I'm in a real bad spot. Oh, I think I'm dead, I think I'm dead, I think I'm dead, I think I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm so inaccurate with this gun. Got him! Alright, I gotta hope that, that sniper does his part and come with my back. Um, go in here option. No, it's not. Oh boy, that's for paint tag. That's for paint tag. Um, I did not mean to make them that much noise. I was not playing. <laughs> the immediate change of heart. <gasps> Ow, 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 ow. Okay, I see. I see. We are. We do not agree. <laughs> Fuck it out. Um, I'm in a really bad place. Um, um, I'm kind of trapped. I'm trapped like a fucking rat right now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, friendo. That's out. I'm him. Someone tried to get smart with me. I have a radar. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> you know this is personal, right? Oh! Ah! Fire! Oh, we've got to do things the hard way. Hard. You know me. I know you need to get moving. I'll finish up here. Uh, that's leave. Someone's got me dead to fucking right. Alright, this is a defendable position, and I've got those tunnels to escape in. Oh, poor guy, he doesn't even realise I've moved. Haha! <laughs> If only I could shoot well. If only on this game I can't shoot for shit. Like, on most games, I'm quite proud of my accuracy, but fucking hell, I can't aim for poo on this one. Right, we're leaving. Yep. Traced? Yeah. Some bad history there. Listen, I need to find someone else. This time I have a name, Elena Tucci. 
She's related to a guy I'm after. Does she live in Chicago? Yeah, I need a location right now. Got her. Wow, she's got a serious digital footprint. Okay, this morning she posted about a meeting today outside the Willis Tower. All right, I'll call you when I'm there. I may need more help. All right. Um, well, that's the first episode, half an hour. So uh, for YouTubers, goodbye. I'll see you all in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed.